but the, okay, I, I, I believe, I strongly believe that there are more than these numbers of engineers. I understand, I don't know how true I am that this university, uh, UTM, I think, I'm not too sure what the figure is, I, I, I just assume that probably the figure is around 3,000 per year. Engineers being graduated. Okay, this is the this is the, the, the statistics for the graduate engineer registration. Okay, most of it is most of it is civil engineers and electrical. Okay, uh, next this is the professional engineers registered. Thousand two hundred thirty-five. Okay, this is how you become a professional engineer from the day you graduate. First of all, the accredited engineering degree by Engineering Accreditation Council (EAC). EAC Engineering Accreditation Council actually is one of the body of board of engineers. So the degree needs to be accredited, accredited by the board, by the engineering accreditation, by the board of engineers through the Engineering Accreditation Council. I believe you don't have to worry. I think most of the courses here are accredited by the board. Then the most important, that's why it's a meeting. Because you are, most of you are final year students. So I believe once you get your degree here, the first thing to do is to register as a graduate engineer with board of engineers. Practical experience, as I mentioned just now, is for three years. Undergo prescribed courses and professional development programs. And from here, the way to go to professional is you will branch into two portions. You can either take the professional assessment examination through the Board of Engineers, or you can take a professional interview through the Institution of Engineers Division. There are two ways. Okay. With the Board of Engineers, uh, the professional assessment examination currently has been, um, uh, what do you call that, has been uh, outsourced to IEM as well, to do the examination. For an IEM professional interview, it's still it's, it's not only interview, actually, there's also examination. There's examination and also interview. And if you pass that, you will upgrade as a graduate member in IEM to a corporate member in IEM. With a corporate membership, then you can apply as a professional engineer to the Board of Engineers. So everything, whichever way you go, you have to go back to the Board of Engineers to apply for your professional status. Okay, okay, the qualification for registration for a graduate engineer. Okay. These are the ones uh, you'll be facing soon. I believe uh, most of you are all finding it. Okay. So, these are the ones, uh, the qualification requirements. Okay. Engineering degree from the accredited institution of higher learning Malaysia or overseas. Okay. I believe most of the courses here are accredited. And if you are going through the IEM route, you need to be a graduate membership of uh, these are the forms to be submitted for the, for the, the one through the Board of Engineers. Uh, a non-refundable fee of 50 ringgit, a copy of the degree certificate, and a copy of the transcript of your academic records. And this has to be uh, certified by an active professional engineer, but because there are sometimes that people who submit uh, the certification is done by the government. Only for a graduate engineer, it's very simple. There's only one registration. You are not required to renew the registration. Unlike the professional, you know, professional you need to renew every year. For a graduate, one year, I mean, sorry, after graduation, you pay one security, and that's it. For life, you are a graduate engineer. Doesn't matter whether you go into the engineering profession, some decide. Something else, business, some decide to become a housewife. Even though you're a housewife, you're still a great way to register engineer. <laughs> Next, upon approval, a certificate will be given to all as a graduate engineer. Um, the, certification, the certificate will state his or her registration number and also the branch of engineering which uh, he, or he or she should be practicing. It does depend on the Degree you have. Sometimes you have uh, mechanical engineering, uh, automatic. See? Sometimes you put that you have uh, you know, you're, you're, you're registered under mechanical engineer with automatic. Okay. So after graduate engineer was